welcome and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I wanted to talk about my dependence on God. And when I say I depend on God, I depend on God for everything. Specifically in this video, I want to talk about praying and talking to God about inspiration as it relates to my creativity. One of the scriptures that comes to mind for me is Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 6 and it reads, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding. In all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths. Because I believe in God and I trust him for everything, there's absolutely nothing I want to do without having consulted him first. So whether I am creating something or I've been asked to create something for someone, for example, if I've been asked to make a prom dress or a t-shirt, I don't care what it is, I ask God for ideas. Everything before I attempt to do it is just a blank canvas. Now, depending on who you are and what you believe, this may or may not be helpful to you. But I just wanted to help people understand for those of us who have a relationship with God, we can't leave him out of anything. The Bible says man ought to always pray and not faint. Another thing that scripture teaches us is that an effectual, fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. So I'm going to get into one of the things that happened recently for me as it relates to creativity and how God answered my prayer but blessed someone else. So in 2020, the world struggled with dealing with coronavirus, COVID-19, and the pandemic emotionally, physically, there were so many aspects as it relates to how people were challenged, the sheltering at home, just a whole lot was going on. Many of us lost loved ones, and if we didn't lose loved ones to coronavirus, some of us know and have relatives, friends, acquaintances that have suffered a great deal as it relates to COVID. And I was sitting one day, um, after I had, you know, worked on some masks and I had done a whole lot of masks for a whole lot of people that I didn't even know, but that was just something that happened for me and, and, and I was able to do that. But I was sitting one day and I asked God to give me something that was going to encourage people, that was going to help them not focus so much on the devastating thing that was happening with the pandemic and this virus. And I thought about a t-shirt, but then I said, you know, I know that people are still wearing masks, so I want to do something with a mask and a t-shirt. And the first mind, the first thing that came to mind was get a black t-shirt. So of course I went and I got the black t-shirt because I had some in my stash. I went in and got the black t-shirt and I just sat there and started, um, you know, praying and asking God what to do with this shirt. What am I going to create that's going to be encouraging to someone else? I didn't want to just jump on everything that everybody else was creating and what everybody else was doing was fine for them. But I needed something and I wanted something that was going to speak to who I am in Christ, my relationship with Christ. And the first thing that came to mind was this too shall pass. I know that that's not a scripture, but I didn't want something that was going to cause someone to go further into a depression if they were there or just in a bad place, bereavement down. I didn't want to um, cause anybody to be in a, in a worse emotional state than they already were. And this was good, but I continued to seek God and ask for more. And then it came to me to use some red glitter letters for the word coronavirus this too shall pass and then of course the statement coronavirus and of course i thought that was good as well but i just felt in my spirit that god was not done with what i needed to do so here's a part of the t-shirt so i already have this too shall pass on the mask and then this too shall pass coronavirus on the t-shirt so i started meditating on scripture and trying to think of 
a scripture that would be encouraging. And then, of course, God gave me John 16, verse 33, the King James Version, and it reads, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye may have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. So here is the t-shirt and the mask. And I, I want to say that my obedience, the result of my obedience had nothing to do with money, even though I was able to make some money on the t-shirt and the mask. The result of my obedience came when I actually wore the t-shirt and the mask one day. I made one for myself. I made some for quite a few people, but I made one for myself. And I was going out to purchase some fabric so that I could continue to make masks. I mean, the orders were coming in and I wanted to stay on top of it. So I went out and I went to Hobby Lobby. And I had picked up everything that I needed and I'm standing in line. And the young girl that was at the register, she stopped. And I didn't know what she was doing, but she was literally reading my mask and my t-shirt. While she was reading, tears welled up in her eyes. She looked at me and she said, thank you, and she let out a sigh. She expressed how frustrating it was that, you know, even though she thanked God that even though she was working, she did have a job, but she said how frustrating it was for her to be in that store all day with the mask and she felt so confined, so restrained. And I know that a lot of people were struggling. She said that this message on this shirt helped her in a number of ways. So for me, my obedience to God right then in that moment, I knew I was obedient because of the message and the encouragement that it brought. But also, I didn't have to try to make somebody be encouraged. The message itself in the scripture did what God intended for it to do, not only with her, but with other people. And I'm saying all of this to say, for those of us who have a relationship with Jesus Christ and we're creators and we're doing so many things that impact a lot of people, I'm not saying scripture has to be on everything, but think about the message. Think about you know, even when people, I pray over the garments that people wear, and I'll get into some of that later, but I want us to start being more aware of how God wants to use us as his instruments, but also how our ministry and the work of our hands can change the world around us. Um, and I, I thank God that day for what the message was allowed to do and the comfort that came with this scripture, because we know that God loves us. We know that he's with us. He's protecting us. We know that the word says he'll never leave us nor forsake us. But for those of us that are confident in Christ, this is our opportunity, not just with coronavirus, but with everything that happens in life. This is our opportunity to make sure that someone else is okay, that they're encouraged, that they're reminded of who God is, and that they too can stand on the promises of God. And even though it's challenging, even though it gets really hard, He will never leave us nor forsake us. We don't have to lean to our own understanding, but in all of our ways, acknowledge Him and He will direct our path. We're all the more better for our being obedient to Him, but being patient and trusting and waiting for God to bring us through. And before I walked out of the store, I made my purchase and she shared some things with me as it relates to her faith. And I just encouraged her and I thank God for allowing me to do that. We all go through things, but guess what? We never know what someone else is going through and we never know how God can and will use us to uplift their spirits. So that's all that I have as it relates to praying and trusting God for inspiration. However, I will have future uploads and prayerfully they're encouraging to you all as well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks again for watching and please like, comment, subscribe, hit the post notification bell so that you can be notified with the up next upload.